God is good. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. We, Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. We want to welcome our NBC family, all visitors, all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Yeah. And all we want to say is prepare yourselves to receive. This is a feast. God wants to feed you. Amen. Yeah. And he's got a message for us, but we need to receive. Amen. Amen. So whatever is well, first of all, let's say it's not a long message. We're not going to keep you long. So that will ease you to say, oh, man, thank God. But he's got something for you. And I yes. need to prepare myself. What do I need to do before I eat? I need to prepare myself. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry for the word. I'm hungry yes. for this food. Amen. But Amen. still, you got to be hungry. Yes. Amen. Don't be thinking about me. Hurry up. You know, hey, the Cowboys aren't even on. You know, sports ain't on, nothing, none of that stuff. <laughs> and my schedule for tomorrow, man, I'm thinking, oh, man, I got a tough schedule tomorrow. <laughs> Forget about all that stuff. Yes. Now, you know, Mary, Mary and Martha, remember? One of them too busy, the other one said, Lord, I'm here. I want to bless you. I want to yeah. be here and receive whatever you have for me. Amen. That's not how I prepare myself to yeah. receive. We need to prepare yeah. ourselves to receive. Yeah. He's got something for me. I ain't letting you go. Until you bless me. I ain't letting you go until I receive what you got yeah, for me. Amen. Man, that's the attitude we need to have. Amen. Yes. So, hey, man, before we go any further, grab your Bibles. Yes. Thank grab you. your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Woo, this is my Bible. I, I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I've been taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I guarantee you, your mind is alert. Yes. Amen. And I need to let you know, if you ain't never heard it before, that the battlefield is the mind. So that's what, what the enemy attacks the most. Yes. And that's where you be thinking all these things. Mm -hmm. My mind is alert. Mm -hmm. But my mind needs to be alert to the things of God. Mm -hmm. And I need to train it yeah. to think on the word. I need to get yeah. the, the word of God in me. Yes. But I'm thinking about the word. about renewing my mind. Because you're attacked daily, constantly, on a daily basis mm -hmm. when you're in the world. Because yeah. it's so, so much bad news out there. So much negative things out there. If you're not renewing your mind, you're going to attack it in the flesh and you're going to lose. The enemy knows to attack and he knows to attack your mind. So renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And if you're not in the word and confessing the word, you're going to lose. Amen. So, hey, it's the enemy. It's busy. Amen. And uh, if you're not fighting it with the Word of God, if you're not fighting a spiritual battle with the Word of God, you're going to lose. So don't don't lose, you know, because God didn't put us here to lose. He put us here to win. Amen. Woo! I'm excited. I don't know about you. But He wants you to change. He's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. He wants to use you. He wants you to change. And He wants you to line up with Him. Amen. Surrender totally to Him. You ever heard of surrender? You ever heard of commit yourself to Him? Amen. That's what we need to do. Amen. He wants you can do great things. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He, greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Amen. I'm, say this to yourself on a daily basis. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Even if you don't see yourself that way, start speaking those things so that you can see yourself the way He sees you. Amen. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. Amen. When you start seeing things the way the world sees, you don't you know you don't think highly of yourself. You start putting yourself down. I'm a nobody, I'm no good. That's what people have been telling about you all the time anyway. But no, I'm not I'm not gonna receive that. I'm gonna change. I'm changing right now. And I'm gonna be what God has called me to be. And I can do all things through him. Amen. Woo I'm excited, I don't know about you. But uh, we have a great message. Well, he has a great message for you. But you have to receive. We're going to be talking about let God arise in me. Let God arise in me before I go out into the world on a daily basis. Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. But first of all, I'm going to let God rise up in me before I hit the world. You know, because there's a lot of things out there waiting for you. 
Yeah. And if you're not ready, you're going to fall. That's it. Amen. So I'm going to let God arise in me before I bring it out to them. How am I going to bring it to them if I don't even have it in me? Uh-huh. Amen. Ooh. Come on now. <laughs> let me read it mm -hmm. the way I wrote it here. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Thank mm -hmm. you, praise him. I mean, that's a song you don't hear anymore. Amen. You don't hear about the blood of Jesus anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, hey, it's a new thing. No, it's not. It's still about the blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Let God arise yeah. and your cares and your troubles and your problems be scattered. But you got to let it rise. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Up with God and down with the enemies. Magnify God and not your problems. Yeah. Listen to this. Let God arise in me first. In your words and your actions. Before you can take it out in yeah. the world. Amen. Man, I'm a, I'm a dynamite for God. Going out there should happen somebody. Mm -hmm. You are his church. You are uh, you're a child of God. Yes. But you are the church. Amen. And you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear. Is it coming out of you? You got to speak it out. You got to let it out. Amen. Woo, come on now. Yes. Listen, meet and fellowship with him and let him rise up in you before you meet the world, before you meet family, before you meet friends, before you meet your enemies Ooh. or your cares or your problems. But meet and fellowship with him first and let him rise up in you. Amen. Amen. But you have to let you have to do this. Yeah. If you don't do it, nobody's going to do it for you. He tells us in Timothy to stir yourself up. Yeah. yeah. Let him rise up in you. Amen. Oh my God. I mean, to overflowing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise God. I'm excited. Know about you? I got little goosebumps all over me. <laughs> Praise God. You can open your Bibles to Psalms uh, 68, and we're going to be reading Psalm uh, verses one through three. Amen. When you let God arise in you, two things happen. First of all, the enemies, your enemies are going to be scattered. Mm -hmm. Your cares, your, your your problems, all these things are going to go. Amen. Praise God. And you have to keep confessing. His, his uh, people gather unto him for rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can have rest in him. He is the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, man, I'm going to have some peace. So, praise God. Let's go. Here we go. Psalm 68, 1, 2, 3, uh, yeah. King James. It says, let God arise, uh -huh. let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Mm -hmm. As wax melteth before the fire. So let the wicked perish mm -hmm. in the presence of it, at the presence of God. Verse 3 says, and let the righteous mm -hmm. be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Yes. Man, Amen. you know, you can have this in Him. But you have to get there first. Amen. Right, right. Praise God. Let me. It says the word led is used seven times in this three verses. It basically means let God arise and stand up in a hostile sense towards His enemies. And come on the scene with power and establish His purpose. Amen. Wow. So seven times, Amen. seven times it talks about lead. Let God arise. The word lead here is an action word. Yeah. Amen. It says give God permission. <laughs> I'm letting God have this way in me. Release God from confinement. You know, don't bask in him. Don't don't hold him back. Let him loose. Amen. I mean, let him go. Allow him to speak out. Allow him to participate mm -hmm. in resolving your problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. So say, Lord, go ahead and do what's got to be done through me. Amen. But you're going to speak it out. You got to speak it out. You can't hold it in. You're the one that's bringing it. Amen. Woo. It says, Amen. allow him to speak out. He's going to speak through you. You're God in the church. Mm -hmm. we're, his, we're new creatures in Christ. Mm -hmm. We're his ambassadors. Yes. You're his mouthpiece yeah. on earth. What else is he going to use? He's going to use the body of Christ. Who is the body of Christ? The church. Us. You got to see yourself this way. Yes. Amen. You just not just nothing. You are somebody. Yes. You're a child of God. Yes. If you don't see yourself that way, it's time you get in the word. It says because when you get in the word, it's the truth of God. And the truth is going to set you free from yes. whatever mindsets, whatever traditions you have. 
You know, it wasn't just like, hey, this is what mom said, this is what dad said, this is what brother and sister so-and-so said. Mm -hmm. It's not this way. Mm -hmm. It's the way the Word of God says so. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. You want the Word of God. Amen? Yeah. And what the Word of God says, so say, <laughs> so go ahead and do what needs to be done. Let the Word, let God arise and His enemies be scattered. Amen? But you got to let Him rise up. You know when He rises up in you? <laughs> I haven't told you this before. He said, we used to do this when we was kids. Take a, a, a Coke bottle mm. and just shake it mm. and then release it. And we used to just <laughs> win each other. <laughs> that was funny. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you stir yourself up in Him mm. and you shake yourself and let all the Word of God just flow out of you. Yeah. Amen. The enemy is going to say it. He's going to flee. So submit yourself to God. Resist the enemy and He'll yes. flee from you. Yeah. We're going to find out what fleeing means in a few minutes. Amen. Would you let the word of God, the, the word led is a power word. It Amen. involves your will, it involves your choice, it involves your decision. You need to decide to do it now. You know, you can't keep putting it off. Well, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. We keep saying that, you know, mañana, mañana, mañana. Well, mañana is tomorrow. <laughs> and we don't want to live there. We want to live in the now. Amen. So, Led is a powerful word. It involves your will, your choice, and your decision. Yes. Amen. Woo. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Church, child of God, believer, whatever you call yourself. But you got to know you're a child of God. Amen. Yeah. Let God arise daily in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. How am I going to want him to rise up in, in somebody else when I can't even let him arise in me? <laughs> All right, now. I want him to rise in me mm -hmm. first. You know, and when they see that, I want it to be contagious, and I want him to. I want him to say, "Man, I got what I want. What you got? Yes. Yeah. And guess what? I want to give it to you. Mm -hmm. He wants you to have it. Yes. It's free. Yes. A lot of people don't know that salvation is free. Yes, it is. You know the guy's price is going up. Everything's <laughs> going up. The price is so high. You know, but guess what? Salvation is still yeah, free. It's free. All you need to do is receive him in your heart. Say, Lord, if you've never said it before, now's the time. You know, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? He's going to say, he's not going to say, well, you're going to do this and you've got to do this or, or whatever. You know, I'm mad at you. I can't use you now. He's going to say, get up and press on. Mm -hmm. That's what he's going to say. He say, I love you so much. He says, I, I sent you there. I brought you there so that you could do this. Yes. Now, get up, dust yourself, and get up and, and press on with with what I've called you to do. Mm -hmm. And I've equipped you for everything yes. that I've called you to do. Yeah. Amen. And he called you. You have a calling in your life. If you've never know, heard, uh, known that before. Now you know. He called you and he equipped you yes. for success. He equipped you to win and not be defeated. That's it. Amen. We just got to know what the word of God says. Not what so and so says. You know. Yeah it's somewhere in there. Well. Do you have scripture for it? No, no, but so-and-so said it. Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> if you don't have a scripture for it, if you can't show me what mm -hmm. the Word of God says, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it on the shelf. Yeah. And then hit the leap. <laughs> 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 Let God arise in you. Surrender to Him daily. Not just once in a while. Not just when things are going so smooth, yeah. you know. Only time we think about Him is, you know, like the spare tire when you have a flat. Or, you know, yeah. when your battery is dead, you say, oh, uh -huh. man. I need a battery. Uh -huh. You got to keep your spiritual batteries charged up on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Don't let your batteries down. You know what happens when, hey, I got a dying vehicle. Mm -hmm. And man, it takes me everywhere I need to go. But guess what? If you got a dead battery, you ain't going yeah, nowhere. <laughs> if you got a flat tire, you ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. You got a bad attitude, well, oh. it's time to change it. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to change it before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I need to change me. I need to let him rise up in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. That flat tire is going to rise up. That, that battery is going to be charged up. But you got to keep your spiritual self up yes. and up. Yeah. Because you're fighting a spiritual battle. Yes. And if you're not in the spirit, you mm -hmm. lose. Amen. Mm -hmm. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. You need to write that down. Mm -hmm. hey, you can take that to the bank. Mm -hmm. You ain't no match for the enemy. Mm -hmm. He's a defeated foe, but he's going to defeat you if you're not in the word yes. if you're not in him amen yeah. Woo, hallelujah 
I'm I'm preaching better than Amen. Than amen. <laughs> so render to Him daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. Daily. Praise Him daily. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad daily. Says this is the day the Lord has made. I will. I I will. Some some some, some translation says we will. Mm -hmm. I, some say I will. I will. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know what I'm facing. Well, God knows. Yes, he does. And I'm going to stand on the word of God. Amen. And I'm going to let him rise up. And no matter no matter what's waiting out there, mm -hmm. greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to bring it to him. Amen. Set and keep your priorities right. Mm -hmm. God first. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to remember. Yeah. God first. Not me. God first. <laughs> not me. Not my job. Not anything else. Me first. I mean, God first. <laughs> Get off the throne and put him on the throne. Say, mm. set your priorities. Keep your priorities right all the time. On a daily basis, not just once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, I'll call on him when I need him, you know. Mm -mm. It ain't going to work that way. That's it. You know, he don't like, uh, what do you call, uh, stepkids or uh, <laughs> part-time kids. <laughs> he, he wants full custody of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so keep your priorities right. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. I want his blessings, you know. <laughs> but I want to, I don't want him. No, you got to have him before you have the blessings. Yes. Amen. When you have the bless over, he's going to bless you and bless yes, you and bless you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. So don't forget about him. You know, get too involved with the blessings and forget about the bless yes. over. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Know that you can do all things through Christ. Yes. You know, it's not just brother so and so or, or pastor so and so or whoever. You know, you can do all things through Christ. You need to find out what it says. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, I need your strength. When I have your strength, I can do all things through you, Father. Thank you. Praise God. Know the greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We need to visit some of these, you know, so that you know it's in your Bible. Do you have a Bible? Open your Bibles. Let's go to First John. <laughs> First John is right before uh, Revelation in Jude and Second John. First <laughs> uh, John four four. If it's not highlighted, highlight it. Remember, I've told you this many times. If you don't have a Bible, there's some in the back. Just get you one. Have one. Amen. But get you some highlighters too. Get you a pen, pencil, and underline it. Uh, change eyes to me or Jose or your name. Put your name on there and highlight these scriptures. Amen. It says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because what? Greater. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. So when I know these things, I'm going to start thinking the way the word, the word of God tells me to think. I say, wait a minute. I had all this backwards. Yeah. You know, because we're we've got mindsets. This is the way it was before. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or traditions. You know, this is the way it was before. No, this is what the Word of God says. I got to get things right. Amen. So and so did it this way. Our whole family done it this way before, and now it's got to be this way or else. You know, so and so is going to be upset. Well, let them be upset. <laughs> Do it God's way. <laughs> yeah. I'm believing that at the end of this message, our hearts will be burning with the same desires that the psalmist says. He cried out, let God arise yes. and your enemies be scattered. Amen. Scattered. Amen. You know, when you follow God, sometimes you just got to shout. Yeah. You know, when you're in a concert, you're out there in the middle of nowhere and you're shouting at people, you know, and you don't care who's listening. That's it. You don't care who's around you. So if they can shout the negative things, why can't I shout the godly things? And say, God loves you, you know. Let God arise yes. and his enemies be scattered. Amen. Let God arise and your enemies, the troubles, the cares, the problems have to flee. They have to be scattered in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. James 4, 7 in the King James says, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Mm -hmm. You have to submit yourself to him. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That means uh, step out the throne yeah. and put him on the throne it, and submit it. and commit yourself to him. Right. Amen. <laughs> and says, yeah. resist the devil. Mm -hmm. Now I got something to do. I got to resist him. Yeah. You know, he's so stupid. <laughs> 
He's so stupid, he don't know. So you got to remind him, you're a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. And I have authority over you. And I command you to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Resist the devil. Take authority over him. And he will flee from you. This is what the word of God says. Amen. Oh, no, you have to go to pastor. Oh, no, you got to go to brother so-and-so almighty over there. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> you go to the word of God. And the word of God is mightier. Amen. Amen. Praise God. James 4 and 7, it says he'll flee from you. James 4 and 7 in the easy to read version says, so give yourself to God. You know, you give yourself to lots of things. But why don't you give yourself to God first? Give yourself to God, stand against the devil, yes. and he will run away from you. Amen. <laughs> he'll run away from you. Yes. Say, well, you know, I've done it, I've said it, but he don't go anywhere. Well, you got to say it like you mean it. Yeah. I said, wait a minute. I know what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to hang out with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians 6. I want to show you something. It says to stand against the enemy or stand stand against uh, the devil. Mm. Again, flee while you while you look in uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 and 14. Flee means to run away, to escape, mm. take off, fly. In this case, he's going to fly away from you. He's going to run from you. And he's got to go. Mm -hmm. He can't stand. He can't stand. You know, you start talking about God. And you start talking the word of God. And he ain't going to want to stand around. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to want to hang out anymore. That's it. Amen. I'm changing the way I'm talking now. <laughs> I'm changing friends. I'm changing yes. things. All kinds of things. That's it. We must stand our ground and use authority. Yes. We must have roots. We must have roots in the Word of God. Amen. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have deep roots in the Word of God. And nothing is going to shake me. Mm -hmm. No storms the enemy can bring can shake me. Because I've got roots deep in the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Are you there yet? Yes. yes. Well, i got to get there. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I say, oh man. That's what we got. Uh, e Ephesians chapter 6 and this is uh, verse 10 that starts talking about, about putting on the whole armor of yes. God. Amen. I just want to show you this. Verse uh, 14, uh, 13, 14 says says, Wherefore take unto the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand was verse 14 say. Stand. Stand. Therefore, having your loins girded up with the truth and start going with the uh, one of these days we'll, we'll we'll talk about the whole armor of God and what the whole armor of God is about. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it says, Stand therefore, having your loins girded with the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. But he says, When you stand, stand. Mm -hmm. I'm standing in him. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm letting the word of God have its roots through me. Amen. Yeah. And nothing can shake me. Mm. Nothing can pull me. Mm -hmm. The enemy and the world always has distractions for you. Mm -hmm. But nothing is going to distract me. Amen. We must stand our ground and use our authority. Yeah. Have those roots in you. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to let the word of God go deep down in me. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about this, but Psalms 100, we're going to go over this in a few minutes, but Psalms 100 talking about make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Amen. Psalms 150 says, praise the Lord always. Amen. Daily. Uh, Nehemiah 8 and 10 talks about let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. So believers should be the happiest people on earth. You got to know who's you are. Yeah. You got to know who's backing you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wherever you go, it says, God is with me. He yes. says he never leaves me, no forsakes That's me. It. He's That's always it. with me. So you're not by yourself. You ain't lonely. He is with you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the enemy knows. And he ain't want to be around with you. <laughs> That's it. Listen, I had this because I wanted to read this. Oh, I lost it. Let me see. Never mind. 
we just put it aside. It just kind of goes with them. First Peter five and seven says, "Cast it on Him, and let Him let God rise up in you. Yes. Cast in all your cares, yes. all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on yes. Him, for He cares about you with deep affections, yeah. and watches over you very." Carefully. This is the Amplified talking about. Amen. The New Life says, give all your worries, all your anxieties, all your cares, all your troubles, all your problems. Do you have some of those? Well, you're supposed to give it to Him. Because He cares for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what? When, when all these concerns, when all these distractions are in you, and you're thinking constantly on these things, mm -hmm. you got to cast it on Him and give it to Him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise... If you don't let God arise, He ain't going to rise if you're too busy <laughs> with all these concerns, with all these anxieties, with all these worries. Yes. Get rid of them. Cast it on Him and let God arise. Amen. Amen. It's just like we got Him covered with all these things because our priorities are out of whack. When you put Him first yeah. and you let Him rise, all these other things you cast on Him mm -hmm. and you're going to move and you're going to go and, uh, for Him. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Hebrews uh, 13, 6 says, So we uh, may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? That's it. Amen. But we got to let this uh, know what the Word of God says. The song says, Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God, let oh, God right. arise. Amen. But yeah. we must let him. Yeah. He ain't going to rise up unless we let him. That's it. It's That's your it. will. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. It's your decision. Remember. Mm -hmm. But you got to let it. You, 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 you have to let it. Yeah. The song is hardly ever sung in church anymore. This song should be the church's marching song. <laughs> As the church goes against the powers of darkness. Yeah. Amen. You know what you're in, in Ephesians there. Open it up back to Ephesians and look at verse 12. Mm. Just to, so that you know who your enemy is. Yeah. <laughs> it's the devil. Mm. It's not your neighbor. That's it. It's not that guy that cuts you off. Mm. I was driving the other day and somebody mm. just cut right in front of me. And the only reason I didn't hit him because I guess God was between us. And I just uh, turned the student to the left, and because they turned right in front of me. And thank God, we didn't hear him. I said, Lord, help me. And he was right there between us, amen? amen. And there was, I guess they weren't watching, or maybe they was on the cell phone. I don't know, they were texting or something. Yeah. But I didn't go after him. I didn't blow my horn at him or anything. I just have peace about it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Of life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. Powers of darkness. Uh -huh. This is your enemies. Yes. Amen. Look at it. Underline them. Highlight them. Yes. Ephesians 6, chapter 12. Chapter 6, verse 12. Yes. For we wrestle as we, for I wrestle not against the flesh and blood, Oh, I'm reading the Amplified, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we also not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, yes. against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let me see what the Amplified says. For we, wrestle, for we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, mm -hmm. contending only with physical opponents, mm -hmm. but against the dispos, 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 Against, uh, excuse me, against the powers, against the master spirit who are the world rulers mm -hmm. of this present uh, darkness, mm -hmm. against the spirit forces, the spirit forces of wickedness in yeah. heavenly places, yeah. supernatural mm -hmm. sphere. This is what you're battling against, mm -hmm. not your neighbor, not That's your it. friend, not the person That's next it. to you. That's this it. is what you're battling against mm -hmm. and you're no match to it without the word of God yes, yes. without letting God arise yeah your enemies ain't going nowhere unless you let him rise up in you. Mm -hmm. amen yes. but this is your enemy right mm -hmm. here the devil he says yes. he comes to steal, steal kill, kill and destroy he hates you mm -hmm. 
he hates you. Amen. He, 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 you get into sin, and he ain't gonna bother you. Yeah. Everything's gonna go real smooth. Oh, you try to get out of sin, oh, yeah. and he's gonna give you help. Oh yeah. He says sin will take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you. cost you more than you can pay. Mm -hmm. It cost Jesus his life. He went to the cross for us. Mm -hmm. That's how much he loved us. Amen. But he rose again. Mm -hmm. And he's back and he's sitting at the right hand of God. Amen. At the yeah. right hand. Praise God. A place of authority. Amen. Let me see. What else I have for you here? Let the gates of hell be stormed. You know, we go through all kinds of storms in life. No, Why don't we storm the gates of hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. How? With the word of God. Let God yes. arise. Yes. Man, we're going to give you hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right here in this world. Mm -hmm. Let the devil's strongholds fall, tumble, collapse, mm -hmm. drop, de uh, de decrease, plunge. Amen. Let God's people win great spiritual victories on a daily basis. Yes. Great numbers added to the church on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You do your part. There's many Christians all over the world. And we're out there winning souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. You are the word of God. You are his mouthpiece. You are the closest thing to a Bible some people will, will, will uh, see or hear. But you're bringing the word of God to them. You're bringing the good news to them. Amen. You never know. You might have saved somebody from suicide. Yes. You might have saved somebody from drug abuse. You might have saved somebody from whatever. Mm -hmm. But you were there at the time God says, go, mm -hmm. speak to him, say something, say this to him. Amen. And you were there and you spoke to him. And one of these days, you know, in heaven, somebody's going to come up to you and says, because of your prayers, because of you sharing your word mm -hmm. through Jesus, I came to know him. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of people come visit you and say, mm -hmm. it's because of your prayers. It's because of you being obedient to yes. the word of God and letting God rise up yeah. in you that I was able to come into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And I made it here. Thank God. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Just know that. Because we're out there spreading the good news. Don't worry about if they don't worry about the end results. The thing is you sow the seed. You sow the word of God. God's going to give the increase. Amen. He's going to see to it that it's watered. Mm -hmm. He's going to see to it that they're drawn to him, amen, and they're going to come to him, and you're going to remember one day in heaven when they come to you and say, you were mightily used of God, so see yourself that way, God is using me on a daily basis, yeah. amen, and he's using you on a daily basis, listen to this, spiritual songs are birthing hunger, hung, hungry hearts mm -hmm. that cause us to want to Psalms 104 says this, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Man, I'm so hungry. God give you these things and you sing to him and, and, and bless his name. He says, out of hungry hearts, yeah. we can come and enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. As a child, if you're not a child of God, you can't do this. <laughs> you got to be a child of God to, to, to go into his gates with thanksgiving, into his yes. courts with praise, to go into the throne room of God mm. and go there because I'm a child of God. See yourself that way. You're a child of God whether you see yourself that way or not. Mm -hmm. If you've confessed him as Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. then you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. That's the way he sees you. He doesn't call you, well, come here, sinner. He <laughs> says, come here, child of God. See yourself that way. Church, we must get ourselves out of the way and start going and doing things God's way. Yeah. yeah. Amen. We follow too many traditions, too many mindsets of how it should be. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, we're going to have a meeting, mm. but everybody else, everybody's invited except Jesus. Mm. We can't have that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we're going to have church even if only one is here. <laughs> Amen. And we're going to preach because he's here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Let God arise. When we do, things will come alive and the church will begin to press on mm -hmm. and go forward with yeah. him. Amen. We're not in the dumpers, you know, about how big we can grow our church. <laughs> 
We're here to spread the good news of the gospel. Amen. Gathering ourselves together. If we was in the numbers, you know what? I'd be in somebody else's church mm -hmm. that's got thousands of people, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's not what God wants me. Be what God wants you to be. Yeah. And bloom what God has you bloom. Mm -hmm. Amen. See yourself that way. And Lord, I'm here because of you. You know, I want to let you rise up in me so that I can go and do what you want me to do. Yeah. Amen. When you see yourself that way, mm -hmm. I have a changed attitude. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go and accomplish what God wants me to do. And this is you. I'm speaking to you. Amen. You can do all things through him. Amen. And you don't have to be in a big church. You don't have to be uh, in a big city. Mm -hmm. Be where you are. And God used many people in, 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 in isolated areas. Yes, <laughs> yes. And still, we're able to do what God called them to do. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, mm -hmm. let's, let's remember this. We must break out of our religious ruts. Mm. thinking we have to do it a certain way so God can come and visit with us. No. <laughs> we just submit ourselves to Him. Amen. Lord, you're invited. <laughs> we invite you to come and be in this place. Amen. Amen. I mean, not just in this building, but when you're by yourself with Him, Lord, <laughs> you invite Him to come visit with you and He'll come. He says, I'm knocking. But nobody's letting me in. There's a lot of big churches. Big churches. <laughs> Amen. They do, what are they doing right. it for? Okay. Hey, I'm not getting too deep into this. But are we doing it just for how many people come? Are we doing it just for the funds? The tithes or the monies? Or are we doing it for God? Amen. Amen. How many people? Nah. <laughs> Away with powerless traditions. This is the way it has always been. And we're going to keep it this way. And we're not going to change it even if for God. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be, go through the storm with Him than be in the storm without Him. That's it. Amen. That's <laughs> Away with mindsets. Your mindset is a set of beliefs, attitudes that shape how you make sense to the world and yourself. It influences how you think, feel, and behave in any given situation. Amen. Well, this is the way it's always going to be. This is it. This is it. We're set in our ways. And you're not invited. And guess what? Jesus is not invited. And Jesus is sitting outside because we won't let him in. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you know how Jesus is? Remember the four friends that brought a friend to mm -hmm. Jesus? He's having a big meeting. There's no more room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and his friends go up. They yeah. can't go through. They didn't want to talk to somebody yeah. or have somebody take them. They went to the roof, opened a, uh, opening right in front of where Jesus was speaking. Uh -huh. And <laughs> Jesus didn't say, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. I want to make sure I get a big offering. <laughs> no. I want to put on a big show. No. Immediately he dealt with the situation. Yes. Man, he saw their faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. He saw he saw them with love and compassion. Yes. And he told the man to get up and walk. Yeah. Pick up your pick up your mat and get up mm -hmm. and walk. Amen. And he did. Mm -hmm. And people were don't find it. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Say, wow. Wow. Do you know, he's using you to do these things also. Mm -hmm. Amen. The greater things shall you do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Fixed mindsets. Either <laughs> I'm good at it or I'm not. You know, hey, it's always been like this. Mm -hmm. Some people say I'm no good, so I guess I'm no good. <laughs> Says I can learn to do anything I want. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It. Amen. Yeah. That's just who I am. I can't change it. Mm. Or I am constantly involved working in the progress. Mm. Amen. God is going to use me. If you have to work hard, you don't have the ability. The more you cha challenge yourself, the smarter you become. Oh, yeah. Amen. Just a few 
If I don't try, then I won't fail. Mm -hmm. You only fail when you stop trying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. The job position is totally out of my league. Yes. Says, well, the job position looks challenging. Let me apply for it. Amen. Wow, guess what? You find out you was the only one applied for it. Mm -hmm. God made it for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As God's people, we need to understand that God is a God of variety, yeah. diversity. He isn't controlled by traditions, by habits, same old ways, or it's always been done like this. We have to remember this. Because we always try to copy somebody else. And we go copy what somebody else did. No. He doesn't always manifest himself or the power in the same way every time. He changes. Amen. So we need to build we need to build uh, spiritual ruts in our Christian walks when we put limitations on God. We gotta get out of these limitation things, amen. That require him to operate in boundaries and how we think things should be done in church. So we he refuses to operate that way. And we yeah. find ourselves going around in circles. So, you know, in closing, let's just remember, he wants to rise up, but we got to let him rise up. Amen. Amen. We got to let him rise up. Yes, we do. Amen. Thank you. The individual or the church body that wants to experience a fresh move of God has got to be willing to yeah. let God arise. Yes. And let him and let allow him to do so. Let God let go and let God, church. Yes. Quit trying to hold him down. Mm -hmm. Stop putting limitations mm -hmm. on his arising. God's nature is to rise up. Amen. Let God arise in your life and in your circumstances. Those that do will always walk in him and enjoy God's presence. Yeah. Enjoy God's power, mm -hmm. enjoy God's provision, yes. enjoy God's protection, yes. and enjoy God's purpose yes. in you. Amen. Amen. So let's remember this. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you for your precious word. Father, we just want to let you rise up in each and every one of us, Father God, yes. so that we can go and do what you've called us to do, Father God, and be about the Father's business. Thank you, Father. For your precious word, Lord. Yes. Let us apply it to our lives now in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We thank you. And before we close, we want to give you an opportunity. If you've never asked Jesus in your heart, in your life, now's the time. Amen. Yeah. All you have to do is say, no, I've yes. sinned against you. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know, this will be a new beginning for you. Amen. Because you're going to be a child of God and start walking with Him and let Him rise up in your life. Amen. So yeah. let's remember this, praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And start reading, start fellowshipping with him, start let him rise up in you. And yes. uh just go to a Bible-based church where you can learn the word of yes. God. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Also, we want to announce uh NBC Bible study will begin Wednesday, July 6th, uh at 7 p.m. And not only that, July will be our anniversary month will be celebrating 10 years. Amen. And New Beginnings Church. Yes. So praise God. Uh, if you have sickness in your body, don't tolerate it. And don't put up with it. The Bible says, by Jesus' stripes you are healed. So I just lay hands on myself, Father. I thank you that by Jesus' stripes I'm healed. No malfunctions in this body. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. So spirit of infirmity, you have to go in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father. Everything functioning normal, everything yes. functioning the way you created it to function, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. amen. Woo, hallelujah. If that blessed you and you've uh, benefited from this, so it's time to give. Yes. If you're watching or listening and you'd like to give, you're tied your offerings, you can still do so. All you do is go to our website, nbcbigbin.com. It's on the screen. Just look at it and uh, go for it. Uh, hit that donate button if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 Amen God loves you and we love you and remember let God arise in your life on a daily basis Amen, amen. Praise God Amen and Amen <laughs>